freshly laid wheezy eggs, cage free, great for cooking, great for making drinks. So. We are now gonna be making a whiskey sour. This, uh, this drink, if I'm not mistaken, comes from like the 1800s, like 1830s. Um, originally was made with just whiskey, sugar, and um, citrus, lemon. That was it, That was that's like the base whiskey sour. Then people started adding egg whites to it and it has kind of replaced the norm for whiskey sours. So like 1820, whatever, this right here was a whiskey sour. When someone added egg to it, people went nuts. And this is like, this has now become like the, kind of like the staple of whiskey sour. But back in the day, it was originally called a Boston sour when you added the addition of egg white. And then if you did a float of claret on top or red wine, um, it became a New York sour. There's a there's there's quite a few different ways, um, and I don't know why they each are named after the cities. I don't I don't know the stories behind it. Um, they're all very good, and one day I would like to do an episode where we try all the different whiskey sours, all the different versions of it. Um, I'll, I'll probably need a helping hand with that episode, but for today we are going to be making just classic, creamy bright and delicious whiskey sour. What you're gonna need is whiskey. I am using, so I actually just started using this rye whiskey. Um, I finally found a bottle and I tried it and I love it. And it holds up fantastic. It holds up really well in um, in cocktails because it's a hundred proof. So it has like a it, has a, it has a pretty good bite to it, but it's fantastic for mixing. And the flavor is really good too. Like great spiciness, a really solid rye. But if you have a favorite rye, or you can even use bourbon, I find bourbon to be a little bit too sweet for my whiskey sours. If you can get, um, I know High West makes, I think it's a smoky kind of bourbon. Um, something like that I think is okay. But usually I find bourbon whiskey sours to be just a little too sweet for me. So I like to use rye, but use whatever you got. I have my semi-rich simple syrup, which is a one and a half to one ratio of sugar and water. We got some fresh lemons and fresh eggs. Fresh egg, they're from the store. <laughs> um, as far as like equipment goes, I like to use, whenever I do anything with an egg white, I really suggest using the Boston shakers. Um, you have more like volume to emulsify in and I think it just makes a frothier drink. In my experience, if you only got these cobbler style ones, they'll work too, whatever you got. But I really think the Boston, uh, I think the Boston style really does wonders for a, an egg white drink. Um, I got a Hawthorne strainer and I got a lemon squeezer knife. Oh, we need ice. Hang on. All right. And we're gonna need a jigger to measure everything in. Um, I have this Japanese style, has a two ounce and a one ounce. It's gonna be just perfect for this. All right, guys, let's start making the whiskey sour. I'm gonna try to, I got chat over here. Again, we're live. I'm gonna try to keep up with you guys as much as I can. So here we go. I'm gonna do two ounces of rye whiskey, two ounces. And if you get a little bit more in there, hey, lucky you, you know? All right, now we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. You can also make this with a Demerara syrup and it's really good too. Um, I just like the, I like the color of the drink more with a clear simple syrup, but the Demerara does taste really good with rye. So now we need three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon. All right, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice into our tin, and then we're gonna do a one egg. So you can do this also ahead of time if you were gonna be making this for a party. 
you can actually separate all your egg whites out and put them into a squeeze bottle or into a like one of those syrup dispensers that has like the cutter top on it that you find in diners. Um, I've used that before. And basically one large egg on average will give you about an ounce of um, egg white. So you could separate them ahead of time or you can do them fresh like this, whatever, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna crack our egg and then I'm just gonna go back and forth in the shell to separate out this egg white. All right, get those good boogers in there. Little uh, little trick when making whiskey sours or anything with an egg white. Keep a keep a wet towel handy because you'll get sticky. Okay, so now what we need to do is something called a dry shake, and that is when you shake your drink in your cocktail shaker but without ice. And what this is going to do is one, it's going to help froth the egg white. It's going to add a lot of air to it, and um, it's going to emulsify everything into that egg white and then expand it. So what's really great about this is this is how you really get a creamy whiskey sour. But a lot of air is going to build up in here and your tin is going to want to separate. So <laughs> be careful. You only need to go about 10 seconds, but you really want to give it a good shake. Um, I have wore many a whiskey sour <laughs> dry shake from my tins exploding. Um, that's why I also think that the Boston Shaker is a little bit better for this because it has a, a tighter seal um, and it's easier to keep together. So we're going to give this a dry shake real quick. See that? Like I didn't have to like hit the side. Like there was just that much air in there. You can go for longer, um, but we are going to shake this again. You just want to give it like just... A really good, I'm gonna just move that thing in there. You know what I mean? It will really pull all those ingredients together. All right, now we're gonna add some ice to our little tin. I'm gonna put some ice in my glass just to help get it kind of chilled. Just like that. I'm using a rocks glass. You could serve this over a big cube. Hell, you could even serve it up if you wanted to. Um, this is how I've always served it and drink it and I love it this way. I've had it other places that do it differently and they're they're great too. Whatever whatever you're feeling, you know? All right. I'm sorry if I blow your eardrums out, guys. We're time to shake. You really You can really go for a long shake with this one. The longer that you shake it, it will get to a point where it'll be too diluted and you'll you, it's all about feel but you can really shake these drinks around and it'll just make a really creamy and a really really frothy drink and that's what we're going for so we're gonna shake it good all right i think that's shook let's use our hawthorn strainer i'm gonna do I'm not gonna do a full like open pour, but I'm not gonna close this gate all the way either. I want a lot of that foam to come out. So let's pour our drink. So I actually do not garnish my whiskey sours with anything. Um, I have in the past, but I think that like that nice frothy head on there. Um, if you wanted to, you could put like a little, a couple little dashes of um, Angostura bitters on there. That red looks really cool, but um, I like it just super simple. So guys, there is the whiskey sour, the Boston sour. Let's get at her, huh? Cheers, guys! Thank you so much for joining me for another what we drink in episode. Um, I really appreciate you. Cheers. Oh man. The Oh, it's such a perfect drink. It's so good, dude. Oh man, I love a whiskey sour. So this and a daiquiri was like one of the like the first two drinks that I learned how to make 
when I started getting into making cocktails and mixology. I've I've made these so many different ways, and I finally was just like, you know what? Sim like the simpler, I think, the better. It's so it's so good. the The mouth feel of it is so like it's not thick like a smoothie is thick, but it's um it's very creamy without there being any cream in it. The frothy head on there is fantastic. Right off the bat, you get uh you get the lemon, so it's like really welcoming, like it's really nice and refreshing when you first drink it. And then you get like this sweet kind of like baking spice taste from the rye and then it like burns just a little, just a little burn, like just a tiny, tiny bit. Like, you know, there's alcohol in it. Oh, it's so good. It is so, so good. Damn, dude. A little bit of a pain to make with the egg whites and stuff, but I, I can't recommend that one enough. It's delicious. You can serve it in like, you know, a few different ways. Not overly sweet, especially because we're using that 100 proof rye. And it's not like, when you drink it, you're not like, oh damn, this is potent, you know? It's, uh, you know there's alcohol in it, but it's, it's, <laughs> oh, it's so good. So, so good. But guys, that is the whiskey sour. This is kind of like the basic, I think the best way to drink it, um, Technically, it would be called the Boston Sour. We're adding the egg whites in there. Most places now, I think when you ask for a whiskey sour, will make it this way. It's just, it's a staple. I think it's a staple cocktail. It's delicious enough to be one. For a while, a lot of people were turned off from whiskey sours because bars would just use whiskey and sour mix. And that makes a fucking terrible drink. And then... There's, there's kind of like this like renaissance with it. Um, I'm not exactly sure when it all started happening, but nowadays the whiskey sour has finally got the love and attention that I think it deserves. You just noticed the inhaler on the ice bucket? Yeah, dude. This is my, this is my patented uh, Wheezy C ice bucket. It has Wheezy C on the top of it. Shouts out to Slapmans and Aunt Nell for the gift. I was using um, like my my fruit bowl <laughs> or like little bowls like this just filled with ice when I first started doing these streams. It really bugged them and so they they bought me this little ice chest and uh, put the little uh, surcut things on there. If you could feel the rest of your body kind of jiggling as you shake, you know you're shaking hard enough. Like I can... I feel it. The cake is shaking too. Cake shakes while you're shaking your drink. You know you're doing it right. I stand by that. I stand by that statement. If you are watching as a What We Drink In episode on YouTube, I also appreciate you. Remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, like, comment down below.